Well, Crane must know you're all out of go now. <laughs> no question about that. Since he knows, I might just as well let the sheriff in on it, too. Why the sheriff? Because I'm going to need his help. I'm sure Barnett's working with Crane. It's going to take some pretty good detective work by the sheriff's office to dig up enough evidence to convict him. Well, it sounds like a good idea. But do you think the sheriff will agree? I think so. I'll pay him a visit tonight, as he'll let it go. He'll let it go? Oh, but... don't worry, Nancy. It'll be all right. Golly, I'm sure glad to see you. Want to thank you for saving my hide the other night. That's all right, Sheriff. I've got some business I want to talk over with you. Well, sure, and you can keep that mask on, I suppose, but, uh... Well, Jerry Randall, you young maverick, I should have guessed it was you all along. I reckon I owe you an apology for being so ornery with you when you offered to help me. Ah, uh, forget it, Sheriff. I want some help from you now. Well, sure, sit down, sit down. What can I do for you? Sure, it was El Latigo, Sam Flame. He's with the sheriff right now. Got to find out what they're up to. Crane and Tosco are staying at Ed's. Get out there as fast as you can. Tell them to sneak up to the jail window and listen in. And if they get a chance at El Latigo, don't miss. OK. You may be right, Jerry, but you've got to have something more than just a suspicion to pin anything on a man like Barnett. I know. That's why I want you to help me dig up some real evidence. Well, maybe you better start right from the beginning and tell me everything you know. All right. The first time I tangled with Crane was in the saloon. Barnett was there. That's what killed Jed Stone. So it sure ain't hard to guess who did it. Sure ain't. That's right, Harris. It's a cinch white men don't shoot arrows around here. Of course not, Crane. Now we know the Indians have been in on this raiding and rustling. It's cold-blooded murder, and that's the proof of it. Tell you men, we've got to stop it. What do you think we ought to do about it? You know as well as I do, Barnett, there's only one way to stop it. Soldiers claim they can't do anything unless they catch the varmints at it. So it's up to us to ride out there and clean them out. Every last Indian on that reservation. That's right. Huh? I'm afraid I don't go along with you on that, Harris. You're just guessing about it being reservation Indians. We're not guessing this time, Randall. We just pulled this out of Jed Stone's chest. Now, you're still saying it ain't Indian work? Oh, it's Indian, all right. There's nothing to prove that this came from the reservation. Where else are there any Indians around here? Well, there's plenty of outlaws hiding out in these hills. Might be a few renegade Indians, too. Now you're guessing. A man's been killed by an Indian, and we know there's Indians on the reservation. That's enough to go on. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Let's get over there with a posse Wait right a minute, now. wait a minute. You start something like that, be nothing but trouble for all of us. We can handle this business without any advice from an Indian lover, Randall. Nobody asked you to butt in. I've got as much at stake as anybody, Crane. I live in this valley, too. That makes it my business. Maybe so. But we're having our own meeting here. And we didn't ask you to come in on it. So suppose you move out right now. Suppose I don't feel like moving out, Crane. I can fix that, too. <laughs> trying to run things around here. But we won't get anywhere by rattling up the Indians with a posse. We've got to do something about it, Jerry. Yes, I know. Look, I'll go out to the reservation this afternoon and have a talk with the chief. 
I'm sure I can find out whether any of his people are mixed up in these raids. And if they are? Then we'll figure out what to do about it. Yeah, I know all about that little fracas. Barnett was there all right, but after all, that's his place of business. Didn't give you any trouble, did he? Well, no. But I heard later he'd been siding with Crane before I got there. Then he took him into his private office after the fight. Well, that might be kind of peculiar, but it sure ain't evidence. What else have you got? And how'd you happen to get started on that El Latigo business? Well, the chief and I made a deal, so I dug up these clothes. We thought it would impress the Indians enough to keep them near the village and out of trouble. You see, some of the young bucks have been sneaking off the reservation. I wanted to find out where they were going. It'll be in here unless you tell me where you're going. To meet outlaw Indians. But they will raid camp of men who build roads. Attack road camp? When? Today. Soon. Go back to your village. Your chief will settle with you later. and call the army post. I'm heading for the camp. Sent for the cavalry and they're on their way. Good, we can use some help. An Indian sneaked into this wagon. Yeah, you're all right now. Thanks, El Latigo. <laughs> that was quite a piece of business. And maybe Barnett was behind the whole thing, but you still haven't got any proof. 
No one I can tell you plenty more, but it still just adds up to suspicion. What I want you to do, Sheriff, is put an undercover man after Barnett. Try to get something on him. I don't know. That's mighty risky, spying on a man as prominent as Barnett. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put one of my deputies on the case and see what we can find out. That's all I can ask for. You'll be able to get him when he starts out. Get set with your knife. All right. I'll take care of it the first thing in the morning. <laughs> 